Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about this loading screen and the content that came today in FIFA Ultimate Team, and especially uh, what is going on with this new preseason loading screen. And as well, uh, I guess that I had an issue. My issue. We have resolved your issue. Thank you, uh, EA. I guess I packed a card that was supposed to be a special card. Who am I going to have here in my club? Oh, Fred. And I still have my playa. Okay, sweet. Anyways, uh, I guess EA re uh, gave us back some of the cards that they messed up on yesterday. But again, this is what we're here to talk about. What in the world is this preseason promo? There's a lot that we can take from this and actually look at other promotions that have happened in other games, including Madden and FIFA Mobile, and talk about that and what this means. And also we have in the code, a lot of you guys know this already, we have a Icon Moments SBC, which is Prime Icons or Icon Moments Pack. That was added to the code not in the game yet so we'll talk about that still but fifa 20 is not over uh but this has a lot of promise and this is actually really really cool the first thing that i noticed about this when i saw the loading screen today is this resembles the type of graphics and the type of art that ea is starting to put forth related to this fifa 21 stuff right if you look at the the ultimate edition cover it's got a lot of white on it it's got a lot of just square boxes uh and it looks really simple and i think that's what they're going for with these new graphics and stuff it, with FIFA 21 is just very simple shapes, borders, uh, and of course they have some of the FIFA 21 like lines and outlines at the top, like up in here. But then we still also have like a touch of summer heat as a part of this promo as well because these color splashes are the same color splashes or the same design that we had during summer heat as well. So I'm just kind of interested to see how this all plays out. Again, we don't really know anything from the loading screen today. This is purely speculation and purely information that is uh, a guess or a educated um, just idea of what this promotion could be. A lot of times what EA does with his promo screens, you guys know this, we might have another up, we'll probably have another loading screen, a new loading screen every, for the next four days before this promotion comes out. We will probably have a new loading screen. I wouldn't be surprised if they throw a car design in there, if there's multiple car designs, kind of like they did for the summer heat. They kept teasing different things over and over and over uh, each day. And I feel like we're going to have some loading screen content for the next few days. But I really want to get into what is this promo? Like what is preseason? Because it's kind of like preseason. That makes me think of FIFA 21. And especially with all the FIFA 21 graphics kind of put into here, it really starts to make sense. So I did a little bit of Googling, a little bit of researching, and uh, some of the guys that are uh, involved with Madden and FIFA Mobile. This is actually a promotion that has been in FIFA Mobile for a while. This this uh, webpage right here is from FIFA 17 Mobile. So it's been out for a while uh, in FIFA 17, but I kind of want to talk about this and what really happens uh, with these cards. So of course, it talks about what is going to be reset and not reset. When you move from FIFA 20 to FIFA 21, you don't you don't keep your team, your, your players, your coins, your record, none of that goes forward. You keep your FIFA points, of course. Uh, and then this is some stuff that's just uh, related to, to FIFA Mobile. But how this preseason promotion takes place and what happens in FIFA Mobile is, um, basically, there's these things called now or later cards. They have now or later cards where uh, you complete an SBC or you complete an objective is how I think it would work in FIFA. And what you get is you get a really juiced, like a 99 rated or a super high rated card for FIFA 20. At the end of the year, super juiced card is kind of what happens with that. And then you also get the later portion of that, which is, uh, as it is described down below, carry forward an exclusive version of that item into the new season. So... Um, I, I think it also says somewhere that when it goes into the next year, so like let's say you got a 99 rated Eden Hazard uh, as a part of this promo this year for the now or later. Next year, if you got this card as a later version into FIFA 21, it wouldn't be 99 rated. It would be a lower rated card adjusted for the the new year, I think is what it's, it said. It's basically just adjusted for the new year and the new ratings. So that's kind of like the concept that we're looking at here. We're looking at something that would give you a really juiced card right now in FIFA 20, and also uh, give you the opportunity to have a card in FIFA 21 as well. So that's kind of interesting. And also a lot of people have looked at these colors and like, hey, this is pretty similar to the color design and the color scheme. Not exactly like the, the design itself, but just the colors 
are very similar to the ones to watch card design, uh, like the purple and some of the yellow and the orange that's in there. So that's kind of the colors that are a part of the ones to watch design. So some people are thinking that we might be getting ones to watch items. Like that's my, and that might be what these are played toward. Um, but that's some of the initial thoughts uh, of this promo and, and what this preseason could really bring. So basically, again, it's it's either something that you would do an, an objective for. I mean, can you imagine? This would be kind of cool, right? If we had like a preseason, let's say we had a preseason, um, I don't know, Eden Hazard, again, as our example, right? We have a preseason Eden Hazard that is in here in objectives, and uh, you have to do three, four, five different objectives, unlock certain tiers of the card to get them to a 99. It's not super duper hard because it's, you know, August basically in this game. And then also the very last thing that you would unlock is like a token that would stay on your account that would then give you that card in FIFA 21 that would be hooked up to that specific account. So that's kind of interesting if that's what's actually going to go down. Again, we're going to see what happens on Wednesdays. It's, it's another weird a promo time. A lot of times they start on Fridays, right? Uh, but the Summer Heat promotion, that all started on a Wednesday. Same thing with this... Um, the preseason promo as well. So I I could see it being an objective or being SBCs. Uh, at least either of those two things we do not know right now. The other thing that I want to talk about is, and this is from a uh, somebody in the FIFA community, Pistol Pete. I don't know if you guys know this guy. He's another FIFA streamer. Um, he plays a lot of, of Madden as well. And I've not played a ton of Madden myself. I played a little bit. Um, but this is something that happens in Madden is a promo where you start this is where he explains it right here. You complete an SBC in FIFA 20. So like the 99 hazard example that we had. You receive a 99 rated version of that card in FIFA 20 to play with right now. Then you also receive that player's wants to watch item in FIFA 21 at launch. So it's a rookie premiere. So somebody who is like a brand new uh, player that has been drafted in the NFL and is playing uh, is basically what this kind of is in Madden. Um, so if we think about that in the FIFA sense, right? Let's think about like uh, Timo Werner, right? Or... Uh, Ziyech or Thomas Moyni or some of the guys that have just transferred. Uh, can I actually look this up? Can I go Chelsea striker German? Would this actually show me Timo Werner? Because I know his card is in the game. Bang, there it is. So there's the Timo Werner, Timo Werner Chelsea card that is in the game. So maybe this will be an SBC if you're like a cracked out Timo Werner card. And then you would get his once to watch item at the beginning of the year next year, possibly. I feel like if they did that, they'll, that'd be kind of a problem though, because um, they would that would be that would affect the market a lot. Because if a lot of people in this game would have an untradeable Timo Werner to start FIFA with, think about all the German links, all the Premier League links that people would go for right away if they're starting off with a card like this. Now, of course, they could give you a Timo Werner that's only like 80 rated and it, it's still like a once to watch card. But it's not the real ones to watch Timo Werner because he's probably going to be around 85, 86 rated, I would imagine, to start FIFA 21. So that's one way they could get around it is giving you like a low rated card. But then a lot, a lot of things back to Madden is when you get that rookie premier card, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that that card starts as a really low rating. And then you can complete objectives with that card to level it up later on in the game. That is kind of what happened with the Summer Heat, or excuse me, the Future Stars Academy players with like Daniel James and Osaman, right? Those two cards were objectives that were tiered, right? Whoa, my controller's fazzing out on me right now. Uh, those were like tiered objectives. So you got, what was it, like the 81 Daniel James, then you got the 83, then you got whatever his ratings were. You kind of had, they were tiered, right? Kind of the same thing with like the Bruno Fernandez and the Furlan Mendy as well. They were tiered objectives and you had to... Uh, complete objectives to level up that card and get a higher version uh, of that item in FIFA. So that could also be part of the story as well. Again, right now, it's all speculation. We will figure out more on Wednesday and as the loading screens get updated throughout the week this week. So that's going to be something to tune into. But again, this is massive for FIFA because if this is actually what's going to happen, if there's going to be something that you can prepare for and get FIFA 21 stuff in your Ultimate Team account early... In, and do that work in FIFA 20, that's massive because that would bring a, a little bit of hype to their game and that would also kind of foster you to start thinking about FIFA 21 and getting your account ready and start focusing your mind on FIFA 21 as well. 
while still playing FIFA, right? They want to keep you on the game, keep them interacted with with their game uh, because they want the interaction because that could possibly lead to them making money, right? That's what it comes down to in the at the end of the day. But that's something that we've never had before in FIFA. It's always just been a hard cutoff. FIFA 20, or like FIFA stops, you know, like FIFA 19 to FIFA 20, right? It just stops. You pre-order FIFA 20, you buy FIFA 20, you get maybe some engagement rewards when you first log into the web app or first log into the console, and then bang, you just are starting from a fresh slate. If there's stuff that they can add that you can do in the previous year's game to then carry over, that would bring a lot of hype. I think a lot of people would be interested in that. And it would also uh, possibly be a way where you could get ahead for the next year. But it's going to be interesting to see how they do it. Because again, as I mentioned, if they do something like this where they give everybody the same card or there's only a few select cards that can come out, we could already see like market impact in FIFA 21 and know, okay, there's going to be people have these cards in their clubs. Link investments to these cards are going to rise quicker and earlier on if they're really good pacey meta cards or popular cards even or easy just easy to link um it's crazy that we could have like a fifa 21 market movement before fifa 21 is even out like the concept of it is just kind of funny but that's enough of me talking about preseason because again right now it's all speculation but i wanted to kind of bring you guys that information for today to just talk about it and to cover what that promotion could be like i want to go backwards and talk about as well the content that we got on friday Again, EA did release the um, a Prime Icon Moments SBC code, and I want to show you that right here, right now. Footwatch tweeted this out. It is not just moments, though, right? This is where EA kind of put their twist on things, and they're like, it's kind of like, man, just let us have the fun. Whenever you're going to drop this SBC, just let it be Moments Icons only, but unfortunately, what they did is they did Primes or Moment Icon players instead of just a Prime or it's Prime Moments player. It's Prime or moments so that kind of sucks uh but honestly that might make the price of this sbc cheaper it might make the sbc requirements a little bit cheaper it really seemed like they were going to drop that sbc today but what we did receive is the the leaked musa sissoko uh that finally came out they didn't upgrade his skill moves or his weak foot uh but this guy looks like an absolute rock he's definitely going straight into my team uh as a spurs fan I'm pumped to have this card in the game. I know a lot of people are not interested in him because they've already got Pogba. They've already got, you know, Ndombele. You've got Wijnaldum. So the the midfield spot, especially another French card, people are like, yo, where's the creativity from EA Sports here? But this is, you know, they, they said what it was. This is a foot favorite. Musa Sissoko inspired by his foot birthday version. Uh, so I'm stoked to have that card in this game uh, because it is one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite players, IRL. We also got arguably one of the best right backs in the game as well. Nelson Semedo with a huge boost and it is very, very easy to do. It is all through rivals, but you only need five guaranteed wins right here. Scoring five separate rivals wins using La Liga players and you have two weeks to do it. So that is a W. I'm glad that they put this out today. A lot of people are interested in this. You know, obviously green links uh, to Messi at a right mid position and a lot of other, you know, Vidal. We've had a lot of Barcelona players recently with Langley, with Vidal. And players like that so that is a gg from ea there as well some market movements that happened today as well there was a lot of panic selling this morning uh because people thought the moments icon sbc was coming and a lot of people also went out and bought sbc fodder which i think worked out for some people today and i wasn't following the market like super duper close um but i did i do think some sbc fodder rose to today what's going on here with this jamie vardy uh, 260, 257, and 249. I think what I might do here is uh, snatch that up because right now cards are rising because people are buying back teams um, for their weekend leagues is what I'm seeing uh, happening right now on the market. So I think if I uh, slap that up there, I'll make a couple thousand coins and that's a GG. Uh, but a lot of stuff was panic sold this morning. Like this Jamie Vardy this morning was 210,000 coins. Uh, and now he's back to 267. So that was a very timely relist and a buy by me because bang, now he's back to 267. But there was a lot of these team of the seasons that fluctuated today, a lot of icons that moved as well. And then of course you had market movements around um, some of the midfielders because of Sissoko coming out and then also the right backs because where is La Liga? Of course, with Semedo coming out, that means that this card Carvajal was going to take a tumble. After rising yesterday at rewards, I mentioned this guy was a good buy at rewards. 
He was like low 100,000 coin range, 106 during rewards, peaked back to 123, uh, and then now he's down to 70k today, of course, because tomato. But uh, a lot of stuff was just panic sold and then rebounded today. I, I don't really know too much about icons. I wasn't watching them specifically. Um, I do know that this moment's block was right around like the 630 range, 640. Wow. Wow. So this card was, what? Is this real? He actually rebounded. Wow, that's crazy. This guy's up like 200,000 coins from where he was earlier this morning, if, if that is true. Yeah, this guy was 650,000 coins this morning. Um, and he just absolutely boomed today, which is crazy how high this card is rebounded because he wasn't even down that much this morning. Check out his graph, boys. I just think what happened was people just bought their endgame teams today. This dude is literally up almost 200,000 coins. He was 650,000 coins yesterday. This morning, he got down to 620, and now, bang, he's up to 800,000 coins. So maybe that's just this card, um, but that's honestly pretty crazy that some of these... I'm sure there was some panic selling on icons, and some of them rebounded because of the SBC. I was not watching that myself, but I do know that a lot of the team of the seasons are now rising back up. Did I just get a sale on my already? Wow, GG's boys. Made some profit real quick, real fast. Undercuts, trading, baby. We're trading in late July. Things you love to see. So yeah, like uh, Neymar was 3.8 million coins yesterday at rewards. Now he's 4.2, 4.3 mil, I think. Wow, 4.3, 4.265, 4.250. That's a wild rebound from where some of these cards were at. I think Mbappe, who was going unsold yesterday at 2.5 million, is now around the 2.8 range. Is that right? 2.8 million coins for Mbappe. So he's up a decent amount today. A lot of cards are up. Um, if a prime moments SBC does come and it's somewhat doable, the thing that is going to make the market drop even more, uh, that SBC is going to make the market drop a lot. So if you think that icon moments is coming, which I do think it is in the next two, three days, I would be very careful with the cards that you own. I would probably cash them out. I would take the coins. Even if you just bought a card and it went up, right? Take the cash on that Mbappe or Neymar that you just bought that is up three, 400,000 coins because a prime icon moments, the, the potential that you have to pack some of the most insane icons with dynamic images. Dynamic images are huge in this game. Uh, that will drop the market. And the thing that's going to make the drop at mark, they make the market drop more is the fact that there's no special cards in packs anymore. There's no upgrade packs to craft. So once people want to do these icon moments repeatables, the, the prime or moments pack, they're going to have to do them from the club at first, and then they're going to have to start buying players. So, you know, SBC fodder, if you haven't stocked up and done a club stock, some of this stuff is still kind of low. I would recommend doing a club stock on SBC fodder if you are potentially going to do any of these SBCs, unless EA drop upgrade packs, which they could with these SBCs coming out or with that prime or moments icon coming out, it's possible they could drop upgrades. Um, but I almost would just take the safe route and maybe stock a couple of these. Is this card up today? Musa Dembele, 28,000 coins. I think Sissoko requires an 85 and an 86 squad. This guy was, wow. This guy was 22K, 21K last night. And now he's up to 30,000 coins. So a lot of this stuff was really low last night and it got invested in since the code hit. And now stuff has actually dropped down a bit. Uh, because the SBCs did not come today. Um, but I still think that if the Icon or Prime, the Moments, Prime or Moments SBC does come, this stuff probably is going to go higher because it's not getting any supply on the market anymore um, unless they do drop some upgrade packs with it. So maybe do a club stock on fodder if you plan on doing a lot of those SBCs. Uh, but it's going to be an interesting next couple days with new loading screens coming and with potential big SBCs coming and crazy market movements all around. Just thanks to EA Sports FIFA for uh, continuing content and not just leaving us dead hanging. This preseason thing looks pretty dope. I'm excited to see what happens from it. And uh, hopefully they continue the new and hype fun things in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.